Hi everyone, it's me, Hello Ia. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to have you here. Today, I'm so excited because we are gonna play with a bunch of Natasha Denona makeup. If you know me, then you know that I am a Natasha Denona stan. I love her stuff. I love her eyeshadow formula. I love her lipstick formula. I've actually started using her eyeshadow primer and I'm loving that. I love her blushes, her highlighters. So now that you know the full extent of my fandom, today we're gonna be playing with the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. Now this is a beautiful palette. It's the smaller palette size. This retails for $65. It's like super summery. I'm really excited to use it today. I also got my paws on one of her new blushes. It's a puff paint liquid blush serum. I'm excited to try this out. I love her cream blush formula, so it should be fun. And I also got some lip crayons. Now these are not necessarily new to her line, but they're new to me, so I thought we could play with those today. And I'll be using her highlight, again not new, and a lipstick later, so yay! Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe, and let's prime. So I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the, what is this called? Oh, just eyeshadow base. I'm gonna be priming my eyelids with the Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. I'm using shade one light beige because I am pale AF, but she does offer a few different shades, I believe. We are primed, we are ready to play. So, like I said, this palette is gorgeous! And I really don't know what I'm going to do here. I think what I'm gonna do is play with the warm side of the palette on my lid and then use the green side to smoke out my lower lash line. I am going to jump in with the color Relief. We're gonna use that in the crease. Okay, that's beautiful. That I haven't even like fully blended yet and I'm already in love. Just, ugh. Natasha! Why are your eyeshadows so beautiful? And they're so easy. I hardly had to do any work at all. I mean, it's me, so I'll probably blend it for like 10 more minutes, but you really don't need to. Like, you really don't. It's, it's done. It's done. Gonna do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. I love that. I love that. It's so pretty. I think what I'm gonna do here is add a little drama. I'm gonna go in with the shade Vigor, which is like this beautiful red color, and use that to deepen up my crease. I feel like I got a little too much here, so I'm just gonna use a clean brush and just kind of diffuse that a little bit. Lighten it up a tad. And then I'm gonna go back in with that first color relief and just use that to give it a little more pink here where I put too much of the Vigor color. That's the one thing you gotta be careful with with Natasha Denona eyeshadows. They are extremely pigmented and a little goes a very long way. I should have known, I should have known. So I'm just going back with Vigor in the crease. I'm not gonna touch that outer V anymore. I just wanna like deepen this up a tad. All right, I am happy with how that looks. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here and we'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm really happy with how that looks. Guys, whoa, what's going on with this thing of light in my face? Has that been there the whole time? Scanning into the future. Let me try and... I am not sure if that's better. There's still like that line, but it's less 
visible because there's more light in the room. I don't know. All right, well, this is what we're looking like. Like I said, it's a lovely like peachy coral red story we've got going on. I'm really enjoying these two colors and how they're playing together. I might just take a little teeny bit. It's called Mindful. And I'm just gonna take like the tiniest little bit and tap that onto my outer V and blend it just to smoke it out a teensy bit. I don't wanna go crazy, but I would like a little more depth here. This brush with no extra product and just blend. Ooh, I think I like that. I didn't go crazy, so it's on the more subtle side, but it does add just a little bit more depth compared to this side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye, and then we'll play with some shimmer shades. Okay, I feel like that definitely like increased the dramatic factor, and I like it. Alrighty, now, the hard part, deciding which beautiful shimmer shade to use. We're gonna take Aura at the middle of the lid and then Tranquil in the inner corner. That's what I'm thinking. Aura and Tranquil. So first Aura. <gasps> oh, wow. That is so pretty. It's like, Coral, but also gold. Wow. Oh. That is so beautiful. This is a great summer palette. I don't know. This might be my favorite shade so far. Aura. Okay, and then I'm going to put Tranquil on the inner corner. Those are both so pretty. So, so pretty. So far, I'm loving this. All right, so next, I'm going to take this beautiful dark green shade called Mantra, and I am going to line my lower lash line. Ooh, that color is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Next, I'm going to take this light green shade called Breath, so pretty, and I'm going to use that to buff out that darker green color. All right, and it should look something like this. That's not creepy, right? Um, yeah, I really like that. I really like that. I'm gonna put on my eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay, got a baby wing, or as close to a baby wing as I'm going to get. So I'm gonna throw on some mascara and then we'll play with the blush and the lippies. Okay, I'm back. We have got some mascara and eyeliner on and it's time to play with this Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That applicator is so wide. I'm not really sure how much I should go in with, but um, we're just gonna start with that and uh, see how it goes. First impressions, it blends out really nicely, but for someone like me who likes to really see their blush, this light shade here I'm using, 
I don't know. But I'm using this like really light pink one. And I'm definitely going to need to go in at least one more time to achieve the amount of blushiness I like to see. But I mean, look at that. It blends so nicely. It's not lifting up my makeup underneath. That is beautiful. Just gorgeous. So good news, it builds beautifully. And double good news, it's really hard to go overboard with this. I mean, I'm sure I could find a way. That's um, kind of how I roll, is like too much blush. That's what I like. To me, it doesn't look like too much. I just, I love blush. I want lots of blush on my face. All right, so next we'll do highlight. I have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude highlight. This is not new. This came out holiday time, uh, but I just really like this highlight formula. And it's just a nice neutral, like nude. I need a nude, but it's just like a really nice neutral highlight that you can basically wear with any look. And what I'm going to do is take a really tiny eyeshadow brush and pop that in my inner corner for my inner corner highlight as well. I'm not sure if that picks up on camera, but it's just a really nice little glow to the inner corner there. It's not like blinding. It's not super dramatic. It's just really pretty. I love it. All right, and lastly is lips. So I bought a bundle of lip crayons. So I have the shades Natasha, Julia, and Ilona. And just looking at my eyes, I'm thinking either Natasha or Julia. Let's go with Natasha. Ooh, pretty. I've never used her lip pencils before. Ooh, that was satisfying. All right, let's um, pencil in. I think this might be the exact color of my actual lips. Like, I can't, <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing it because it matches so perfectly. It certainly is a nude lip liner. It's beautiful, it's creamy, it goes on nicely. And then I think for my lip color, I think I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick in the shade Sava. This is one of my favorites, I love this formula. It's like butter. It's like butter. And there you have it. We just finished our look using a ton of Natasha Denona products. So what do we think? Do we like the look we created with the Zendo palette? This thing is gonna get fingerprints all over it so quick, but it's just a beautiful palette. I feel like you can get a good mix of summery looks out of this. The Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum is amazing. I love this. Love. The I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter is not new, but still great. I only used one of the three lip pencils, and this was really nice. I'm excited to try these other two, Julia and Ilona. And then again, this lipstick was not new, but it's the I Need a Nude Lipstick in Sava. It's one of my favorites. And overall, I just feel feel really happy with this look. I feel really cute. As always, don't forget to subscribe. And this is Hello Ia saying, see ya!